Your delivery has been received. 11-4-D said. Darth Plagueis turned to look back at the droid. The replacement geological compressor? That's right, Master. Somewhere beneath the transpirator mask that covered his mouth, Plagueis permitted himself a smile. He and the droid were making their way through the Cold Stone research chambers where he'd spent whole months of his time, working with unswerving purpose among the various species that he kept caged up. Thank you, 4D. Plagueis focused his attention on the vat in front of him, where the remains of the Bith Sith Lord, Darth Venomous, floated in a semi-transparent bath of preserving fluid. Venomous's corpse was still animated and twitching spasmodically with the last dregs of life that Plagueis invested in it, only to snatch it away again. He had been working for almost twenty uninterrupted hours on this particular project, with limited success, and the notification from his droid signified a welcome diversion. Did Sliffer confirm its arrival? he asked. Not exactly, Master, the droid replied. Why not? Because it appears that Mr. Sliffer is dead. Oh. Plagueis pondered the news for a moment, before turning to face the droid. Did Maul kill him? No, Master. From what I was able to glean from surveillance uploads from the prison, Mr. Sliffer was killed instantly when a CLL binary load lifter decapitated him. The droid paused. And then crushed him underfoot. A humble end for such a promising mind. 4D let out a small electronic gurgle. I'm not sure that I take your meaning. It's unimportant, Plagueis replied, and scratched his chin in thought. A droid, you say? Yes. I'm sure it was accidental. It was the same droid, in fact, that you had tasked to deliver the package directly to the Zabrak. Ah! Plagueis beamed with pleasure. So Maul has everything he needs to facilitate his mission, then. You're sure? I've confirmed it through surveillance hollow footage, 11-4-D said, and then paused for a moment. If I may inquire, what was the purpose of keeping this information from Master Sidious? That is an excellent question, 4-D. I suppose you could say for the purpose of strengthening our relationship. Sir? Between Lord Sidious and myself. Plagueis returned his attention to the Bith and the vat before him, although his thoughts were now far away from the resurrected Venomous. The Zabrax assassination mission inside the prison is of great interest to me. As you know, I have extended a great deal of latitude to Lord Sidious in the past. Reaching out with the dark side, Plagueis watched in a distracted way as Venomous's lifeless face stirred in the viscous chemical soup, one eye opening and rolling up to gaze at him. Then he continued, Especially now, as we approach the pivotal moment in our plans for Palpatine's impending chancellorship, I find his increasing tendency toward self-reliance to be disturbing. Of course, the time will come when I will let him know that I was the one who provided Iram Radik with the fully functional geological compressor that he needed, and thus allowed Maul to complete his mission. But the moment of revelation is not yet ripe.